Today's live IELTS class. I hope everybody is having an awesome start to their week. I'm Adrian and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. Students in this class, we are looking at IELTS speaking part one and we are going to discuss strategy and do some practice for that band nine confidence start. So hang around today, learn some strategy, practice some speaking. Welcome Carolina, our chat moderator, making sure everybody keeps it clean. Welcome Arda, hi members. Hi Han Han, Lewis. Good to see many of our regular students as well. Students, this lesson is coming from aehelp.com. For academic IELTS success, please check us out there. For the general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. On both of those websites, we have tons and tons of materials to help you improve for your next IELTS exam. Our academic IELTS looks like this, and you can click this red button to join our premium package. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. You get over 100 hours of HD video lessons for all parts of the exam. And uh, you go into your My Student account, you have computer-based practice exams at the top here. You have a fully interactive online course, you get an app, you have study plans, audio CDs, so there's lots in here for you. And we're going to be using this student partner speaking function today to chat with some of our students, so get ready for that. Uh, for the general IELTS, same idea. It's the green background, and you just click this big red button there. Ani Syed is asking, how much for the premium? Um, to know how much it is in your part of the world, because it's different prices depending on where you are in the world and your country's economy, just click the join button, and then you will have this kind of checkout form here. And you have this uh, use coupon code. So we're giving a special coupon code uh, this week. It's only for three days and it's this code here. Help is here, discount code 25%. I score nine, use that discount code. I score nine, available for three days only to give you a 25%. So you enter that code on the website. I score nine and then you hit continue and you'll see that the price will go down up in the top green there so make sure to use that students uh, again we will be using our academic IELTS website today uh, to uh, use the chat function uh, you'll see how cool that is if you have questions uh, send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com and uh, we'll get back with answers quickly. Uh, follow us on Instagram, IELTS underscore AE help and G IELTS help. Uh, those Instagram profiles will show you our live class schedules as well. So lots going on. Uh, students, we've got a full week of classes. So we've got streaming all the way to Saturday. Lots and lots going on. And now we'll get into IELTS speaking part one. So make sure to speak and repeat students. This is a speaking class, so speak and repeat. Copy what I say, copy how I say it, okay? So your IELTS speaking exam, you gotta show up early, early, practice your speaking with other students. And then, um, you will be called in for your interview. You have to register 20 minutes before your interview starts, and then you get called into your interview, and you're met by an examiner, kind of like me, if it's a guy, they're usually wearing a dress shirt and a tie. Um, they'll be dressed professionally. And then they'll start. They'll say, welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. Uh, the uh, speaking has three parts. I will give you instructions for each. This is candidate number 95731. Currently, we are conducting this exam in Paris. The time 
is 14 o'clock now. We shall begin. There's about a minute of this, well, maybe a little bit less than a minute of this kind of preliminary introduction to the exam. When the examiner is introducing um, the exam, okay, so this is the first tip. I'm gonna give you one right away. Okay, so tip number one. While you hear your speaking examiner introduce uh, the speaking section to you, take two deep breaths, Imagine they are your grandpa or grandma and remember to speak in loud, clear and complete sentences. Okay, right away from the beginning. So that's your first tip. That's what you want to do. Okay. So don't just kind of space out or like shaking your boots, okay? Getting even more and more nervous. Um, just do this. So take a couple of deep breaths. <sighs> and then picture that they are your grandpa, grandma. Put your hands on top of the table. Um, make sure you have an open body posture, okay? If you're taking deep breaths, you should have an open body posture anyway, because that's if you're doing this, you're probably not taking um, very deep breaths when you're putting pressure on your chest. So uh, have an open body posture. Okay, hi, Jai Neil. Good to see more students in the class. All right. Um, so uh, the examiner will then start with the first question that's directed at you, which is, may I see your identification okay so even though you showed the identification um, that you used to register when you walked into the exam center they will ask for that again now that's your um, cue uh, to start speaking in a full sentence okay welcome back Jashan okay so this is your cue to start speaking in full sentences all right, so give me a nice full sentence answer for this. We always start these classes with this question because again, it's just a reminder that you have to speak in full sentences, okay? And Simran says, sure. So this is Simran Simran. Let me just copy Simran's answer from the chat. So Simran Simran says, uh, sure, here is my passport, which I used to register my exam. Um, Okay, you're missing a preposition there. Uh, please take a look. Don't make mistakes at the beginning, students. So, sure, here's my passport, which I used to register uh, for my exam about five weeks ago. Uh, please have a look. I really recommend um, including this uh, kind of like about five weeks ago or about a month ago when you explained to them when you registered. Do you know why that is? So do you know why I would recommend including telling the examiner when you registered? There's a couple of reasons for that. Let's see if you can think about it. Okay. So. Why do you think? Okay. Um, meanwhile, I'll read a couple other responses. So Gashem says, sure, here's my passport, which I've used to register for the exam. Please have a look. Gashem, pay attention to your grammar. Arena says, yes, sure, here's my passport, which I used for my registration. Please take a look. So why, why, Tatiana says this past simple marker of time. Okay, very good. Rosari says to give quantitative information. Yeah, exactly. Um, Calvin says, yeah, exactly. So you want to, it, it kind of reminds you, it puts that check in your head. It's like, oh yeah, speak quantitative, speak quantitative. Quantitative communication is very good students. So it's very important, okay? Uh, remind yourself early. 
in your speaking to use quantitative information, okay? Meaning numbers. It makes for much better communication. Especially since you're talking to a person that you've never really met, okay? Um, so you definitely want to do that, all right? So remind yourself of that, okay? Uh, again, that's an important tip, all right? Okay, so make sure to do that. Quantitative information, numbers are your friends, remind yourself early on. A good way to do it is let the examiner know when you registered for this, this exam. Another reason, by the way, that it could be uh, a really good idea is it shows the examiner that you've been preparing, right? Okay, unless you say something like, um, sure, here's my passport, which I used to register for my exam yesterday. Uh, please have a look. I mean, you probably won't have space for an IELTS exam if you try to register a day ahead. But yeah, you know, if you say a month ago or, you know, six weeks ago, then the examiner's going to be like, oh, okay, this person's, you know, they're on the ball. They're kind of getting ready. All right. Um, and then the next question that they will ask you is, what is your full name? So... Give them your full name. And again, this is where you want a full sentence showing that you are in a professional setting and you're speaking in detail, okay? All right, so what is your full name? Give your full name, nice, fluent, full name, okay? All right, okay, so Ram Odedra says, My first name, let me just copy this in here. So this is Ram, okay, and Ram says, uh, my first name is Ram, and my family name is Odedra. Okay, um, and uh, I'm guessing I should call you Ram, but the examiner will always follow this question up with, what should I call you? And uh, what should I call you? Okay, they have to ask you this because they need to be polite. It helps you to feel comfortable. So Ram, you should always um, finish this. So please uh, call me by my given name, uh, Ram. Okay, so you should always complete that idea. You have, you have a complete sentence, but you need another one to complete the idea. Okay, and nice and fluent. All right, so what is your full name? My first name is Ram and my family name is Odedra. Please call me by my given name, Ram. And um, why am I doing this uh, first name uh, given name? So like, why do I do that right away again? So notice how I say first name and then I say given name, why? Why, why would I, why, why did I decide to do that nice and quick like that, okay? Uh, Mal's asking a good question too. So Mal's saying, should I say my name in its native pronunciation or in its English pronunciation? Um, I would just use your native pronunciation, Mal, and then say, you know, but please just call me this, it's easier to pronounce, right? So yeah, when you introduce yourself, introduce it with your native pronunciation. Most people do want to hear, you know, um, your naturally pronounced name. Okay, Paula Ray says paraphrasing and Ani Sayed says it's lexical resource. Yeah, and Anish says it's no repetition. All of the above, ladies and gents, those are all good answers. So uh, paraphrase. Okay, paraphrase uh, first name, given name, uh, to remind yourself of the importance of paraphrasing. Okay, paraphrasing 
avoiding repetition and showing lexical resource. Okay, so all of those are uh, very important. All right, all of those reasons. Good job. Okay. And then um, the examiner will kind of get right into it. They, so they will start the questions for the speaking interview. Uh, to them, you're a number, don't get too nervous. They're just doing their job. You're there to do a job. Your job is to get that high band score and to stay confident. Now, uh, as we continue here, you can see I'm kind of putting on my headset here. Uh, we're going to do this uh, vocally. So I am going to call uh, some of our viewers and we've got lots of viewers. And again, remember everyone that today in this class, we are building uh, band nine confident starts. And to have those band nine confident starts, practicing is key and you get a chance to practice in this class with me. Uh, make sure to pay attention everybody. This is how you do it, okay? So I'm going to uh, jump to the bottom here. So uh, you can volunteer to speak with me following these steps, okay? First, you can register a free or paid account at aehelp.com. Then you log into your My Student account. After you log into your My Student account, you click on Student Partner Speaking. Now, if you're like, oh, what's going on? Don't worry, I'm going to show you this in just a second, okay? So just follow with me. Uh, four, enable your microphone in your browser on mobile. This You have to be um, enabling it on your mobile, okay? With mobile phones, use a headset if you can. It's gonna be a lot better. All right, uh, keep your window open, okay? So make sure you don't close it. And then uh, message me in the chat um, with the blue envelope. Message me, I want to volunteer, okay? So just write that and then I will see your, um, your volunteering and I will do my best to get to as many students as possible, all right? So let me show you how this works, okay? So here's our website, aehelp.com. When you go here, um, first you will see the homepage. So this will be the homepage here. You're probably gonna see a video starting up, so you wanna maybe pause that video. Uh, click on this red Join Now button uh, to get the premium package. Remember, you can use that discount code iScore9. It's pinned in the chat at the top. Get that 25% uh, discount. Then you click on Try Demo if you want to try it for free, um, but I recommend the full course. Then you go to your My Student account. My Student account is at the top. And then in your My Student account, you have the student partner speaking. Uh, if you like this kind of practice, you can book a full speaking interview practice that gets videotaped for your studies uh, with this yellow button. But for right now, we click on this blue button. Okay, so accept the terms that you're going to speak uh, nicely with others. And then you see a new window open up and it's a chat window. And in the chat window, you see Lewis here, Ramesh Kumar, Faizulo, Sirkan, Arda, Hashir, Sandra, Delvin, me, Patel, Muhammad, Anish, Calvin, and lots more. And then you simply message. And I think Calvin here messaged me pretty quick. So Calvin is probably wanting to volunteer. So I'm going to check on Calvin. Um, let's see what Calvin's saying. Calvin says, hi, sir, I want to volunteer. Okay, that's great, Calvin. So. Uh, are you ready? Just give me a quick yes, and then I will reach out to you. Make sure you've enabled your microphone and your speaker, otherwise it won't work, okay? Okay, so Calvin says, yes, sir. Awesome, Calvin. Here we go. Just a sec, Calvin. I just have to switch my microphone over to... Um, different microphone here okay hi calvin can you hear me oh sir yes i can hear you perfect now you're in my ears you're on a different speaker for me there got lots of speakers going on how is your day going so far calvin um actually it was a little bit tiring to be honest i like honesty why was it so tiring <laughs> um 
I got to um, involved in some kind of like vaccination program for our government. Okay. Yeah, a lot of us are going through some challenging times in that sense for sure. But it definitely seems like you've got some good ambitions taking the IELTS exam. May I ask why are you taking the IELTS exam? Um, I'm planning to take master's abroad, so I kind of need this preparation for IELTS. Okay, awesome. Well, um, I'm here to help. Uh, I will ask you a speaking part one question. Give me a nice full sentence answer, and then uh, I'll uh, give you a score estimate and analyze your response, okay? Sure. All right. So, uh, welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for part one. I will ask you some questions to get to know you a little bit better. Where do you live? Well, I reside in a city called Samarinda. It is actually the capital city of Kalimantan Island, which is the largest uh, island in Indonesia. And I am staying here for almost um, four months now. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, actually, I have some favorite pastime activities that I like to do when I have a leisure time. Uh, one of them would be reading books uh, because I like to gain new information. Like this morning, I uh, wake up and it's a bit. Uh, it was a bit early, so I decided to read a few chapters of my ongoing book that I. I'm actually reading right now. It's called My, uh, Midnight Library. Yeah. All right. Okay. That was uh, that was good, Kelvin. Um, so I'm going to give you a bit of feedback, especially on your first answer. Um, the second one I just asked you so I could buy myself some time to finish typing what you said for your first answer. But I did listen to your uh, second answer response as well. So let me give you some feedback. I think you're doing a great job and I think you would get 7.5 based on just these two responses that I've heard. Um, I think you have very good fluency. So I think your fluency is like an 8, 8.5. Um, I think your pronunciation is a 9. I very clearly understand uh, what you're saying. I can tell that you have a lot of um, experience with English. You're using it often in your life. Um, and you feel confident, comfortable uh, with using the language, which is great, okay? So I can tell that you have that band nine level confidence going into the test, which is super. Uh, let me reflect a little bit um, on your response and why it's a seven five and not higher. I, I think you can get higher. Um, there's two points that you need to improve. One, a little bit with the content, the information. So I asked you, where do you live? And you said, well, I reside in a city called Samarinda, if I caught it correctly. Um, reside is really good. So that was a paraphrase, right, of uh, live, which is great. And then you said the city and you said it's the capital city of the island of, I couldn't catch the name of the island. And you said it's the largest island in Indonesia, right? Because Indonesia is made up of many islands. I know that. Um, and then you use present perfect uh, progressive. He said, I have been staying here, which is really good. Um, that showed me good uh, grammatical range. So that was really nice for the past four months. Okay, uh, I think, you know, for this question, to get that full band nine, it's good to include like what your residence actually is. Are you living in an apartment building or in a house or a townhouse? What are you living in? Um, I live in a one room flat with a private uh, bathroom inside. Yeah, I forget to mention that. Yeah, okay. So it's just that kind of little, like little details because for those high bands, when you're going above band 7.5, it's really those little details that are going to make up that extra one, one and a half bands at the end, okay? Um, so I've been staying here. I would just stick it in here in a, is it a one bedroom or is it a bachelor pad? Uh, it's a one bedroom size. 
So the difference between, just for everybody, the difference between, and if you're moving to an English speaking country, it's good to know this, uh, between a bachelor pad and a one bedroom is the separation. So if it's a one bedroom flat, it means it has a separate bedroom, it has a separate kitchen, maybe a separate living room and bathroom. That would be a one bedroom flat. When you have a bachelor pad, it means you ha you can have a kitchen, a uh, bed, um, and maybe a separate bathroom, but it's all kind of joined together in one space. Is that clear? Uh, yeah. So is it a bachelor pad or is it a one bedroom? It's actually a bachelor pad. Right, okay, and a bachelor uh, pad. And we say bachelor pad, it's a nice natural expression. So knowing that collocation bachelor pad um, with a private bathroom, sure, that's good information. Uh, for the past four months, okay? Now you have that level, that band nine level of detail, okay? And at that point, I think you actually have like an 8.59 where you actually lost a little bit more marks was in that second question, Calvin, um, where you said, inf I like learning informations. Uh, in natural English, we don't use the plural of information. Information is usually non-count. It's very rare situations where we have um, that and then uh, when you said wake up this morning it should have been I woke up this morning Welcome. so you had a couple of small grammatical slip-ups that would cost you a half band score overall they're not big mistakes they're just tiny little ones but they're enough to cost you a half band at those high band levels okay does that make sense yeah sure thank you for the feedback sir Okay, now don't go anywhere. I'm gonna do a quick repetition of this first question with you, okay? So here's the question, I'll read it, and then once, uh, I'll ask, once I'm done, I'll ask you the question again and just repeat after me, okay? So sure. here we go. Uh, where do you live? Well, I reside in a city called Samarinda. It is the capital city of the island of. Uh, it is the largest island in Indonesia. I've been staying here in a bachelor pad with a private bathroom for the past four months. Where do you live? Well, I reside in a city called Samarinda. It is the capital city of the island of Kalimantan, um, which is actually the largest island in Indonesia. And I've been staying here for uh, the past four months in a bachelor pad with a private bathroom inside. Yeah, perfect. And even if you missed that for the past four months, it's still a band nine because you have that detail. Okay, so, and they have been staying here, it's, it's fine. Okay, all right, um, good. That's great, so that's how you do it. So pay attention to those little details in the content and in the grammar. Um, you do that by recording yourself. So record yourself with a phone, listen back and think, okay, did I miss any little details here? If not, if you've got it all, you're doing a great job, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. You are super welcome and good luck on your exam and I hope you um, get a little bit of time to rest as well. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Calvin. Bye, sir. Bye, Bye, -bye. sir. All right. So that was Calvin, everybody. Give Calvin a... That was, he's the first volunteer of the week. Uh, not just today, but of the week, because we will be doing more speaking like this throughout our the week of live classes. So uh, if you're enjoying this, then definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, join again. Um, all right. Let me have a look at some other volunteers here. Okay, let me kind of go from the bottom of the list today uh, so that, uh, you know, we give some chances to people who are who are a little bit lower down on the list. Okay, here's Anmol. Um, let me see if Anmol is ready here. Okay, Anmol, are you ready? I believe Anmol is a fairly regular student of ours, if I'm not mistaken. And I will jump around in the list, everybody. So hang in there. Okay, so here we go. All right, thanks for all the clap, students. I see that everybody gave Kelvin a nice clap, which is great. Meanwhile, we're waiting for Anmol to pick up the phone. No answer from Anmol, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, it's a really good idea to check your um, device as well, everybody. 
Okay, uh, let's see if Uche Chukwu is ready for a call. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, and while I'm doing this, you can maybe um, test your device if you haven't done this yet with some other uh, people who are in the chat and then you'll know that it's working. Okay, let's hope that we can get a hold of Uche Chukwu here. All right, Uche Chukwu, are you ready? I know there's a little bit of lag between the live stream and the and uh, what you're seeing, just a couple seconds, so giving an extra bit of help here. All right, Uche Chukwu not responding, so maybe Uche Chukwu is no longer there. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try uh, Harsh. We'll catch someone here pretty quick, don't worry, hang in there. Okay, and of course you want to have a decent uh, internet connection. Uh, students, this is a chat, um, especially if you're going to use video with others, okay? All right, Harsh seems to be ready, so let's see. Hello, Harsh. Hi. How are you doing? No, I'm good. Awesome, Harsh. I can hear you. It's a little bit staticky, but I can hear you. So try to speak nice and loud, okay? Uh, yeah, it's due to the poor, uh, poor network connectivity. Okay. All right, Harsh. Good. So, Harsh, I'm going to ask you a uh, speaking part one question. Give me a nice full sentence answer, and then I will analyze your response, okay? Yeah. All right. So here we go with speaking part one. Let's talk about movies. How often do you watch a movie? Uh, I would say I watch uh, more often um, a movie uh, like uh, three or four times a month uh, by uh, visiting nearest uh, theater. Uh, recently, I had watched. Uh, Singham, which is a Indian movie, uh, it uh, it would. Okay. All right, almost got it. Okay. Um. So. Got it. All right, uh, so very good. First of all, it's a good answer. Um, you paid attention to giving an answer and then giving an example, which was which was nice, okay. Uh, you would probably get about a band 6.5 for that response, 6 to 6.5, okay. Um, you have pretty good fluency, you have clarity, it's coherent, and that's what you need. A band six, according to IELTS, is someone who uses English fluently, okay. The reason why you're not getting a higher band score is because your answer was slightly awkward. So the way that you put together your sentences and the words that you chose, they were not natural in the sense that you wouldn't really hear native speakers of English using these sentences in this kind of way. So how often do you watch a movie? You said, uh, I would say I watch more often a movie. That's a, that's a pretty awkward way to express that. So just simplify it, okay? So I would do it like this. Uh, I would say I watch a movie often. Okay, that, that is natural if you say it like that. I would say I watch a movie often, uh, at least uh, three uh, to four times a month um, when I go to a theater. Okay, uh, while visiting the theater, it's again, it's, it's okay, I understand it, but it's just, it feels a bit off. So I would say I watch a movie often, at least three to four times a month when I go to a theater. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got the I already in there. 
All right, so that would be more natural. So you have to really pay attention to kind of that natural language. The way that you can improve that is uh, listen to native English speakers in podcasts or in movies. Um, maybe watch it with subtitles if it's a movie and then just copy what they're saying. So on our website um, in the videos, if you go to the speaking sections, we've got lots of examples of band nine interviews. And if you copy those speakers, then you'll be practicing that kind of more natural English. Okay. And then you said recently I watched a movie, right? And then you said it was an Indian movie. Um, I would keep that simpler. So the IELTS is not about telling the truth instead of giving the truth. Cause I couldn't catch the name of that Indian movie that you just said. Um, just use kind of like a really well-known movie that's going on in the world right now that maybe everybody would be familiar with. Um, what's a, an English movie that you know that comes to mind right away? Uh, day After Tomorrow. Okay, for sure. Yeah, so uh, just yesterday I watched a sci-fi uh, flick, uh, flick uh, called Day After Tomorrow. And it was enjoyable. Okay, and the reason I end with, and it was exciting, is because that becomes kind of like my explanation. So why I watch movies, because you like exciting movies, right? So here is an improved answer, okay? I'm going to read the question, the response, and then copy after me, okay? So how often do you watch a movie? I would say I watch a movie often, at least three to four times a month when I go to a theater. Just yesterday I watched a sci-fi flick called Day After Tomorrow and it was exciting. Okay, just a okay. second, I'm making one more correction here. Let's make that plural little sound better and more accurate. So how often do you watch a movie? Uh, I would say I watch a movie, uh, movies often at least three or four times a month uh, when I go, uh, when I visit the theater. Uh, just yesterday, I watched a sci-fi flick movie called Day After Tomorrow, which was exciting. Okay, good. Um, and again, just watch those slight awkward use of words. So you said when I uh, visit a theater, we generally don't say visiting a theater. You visit your grandparents' house, you visit your friends. You don't really visit a theater. You just go to a theater, okay? It's more natural, okay. all right? So again, just copy a lot of natural speech to get those more natural expressions, okay? And your band score will go up. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I just one more thing to ask. Yes. Uh, so I uh, mostly get nervous while speaking, so how to tackle that? Sorry, so you mostly do what while you're speaking? Can you say that one more time? No. I get nervous. Oh, you get nervous. Yeah, all right. Um, well, that's, yeah, it's totally, totally fine. A lot of us do get nervous. The way to overcome that nervousness is to do this kind of practice. So just put yourself out there and practice. So um, use this website that we're on right now and chat with other uh, students. So what we're doing, this website, you can obviously not just call me, uh, but you can uh, you can call other people who are in here. So come in here, you know, once or twice a day and then uh, send a message to a person who's in here. Say, hey, do you want to practice a few questions? Most people are pretty happy to, to get that and then you'll build that confidence. OK. Thank you. All right. Keep it up, Harsh. Good job. Yeah. OK, bye. All right. So that was Harsh. Everybody give Harsh some uh, claps. Um, again, right? So as Harsh said, you know, it's nerve wracking uh, to do this kind of uh, live speaking. So practice, 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 right? Okay, uh, let's catch somebody else uh, here. All right, let's try uh, Malesh. So let me see if I can reach out to Malesh here. <laughs> Malesh has got quite a few messages saying they want to volunteer. All right, Malesh, are you ready? Seems like you are. You've messaged me a few times there, so I'm guessing that you're gonna be ready. Hopefully you'll see you're still here. Thanks for the claps, everyone. I even like those uh, hand washing uh, emojis. Those kind of look like claps, right? But yeah, they're hand, wa hand washing emojis, which is also good. Wash your hands and 
and clap and thumbs up. That's awesome. Okay, um, so, Malesh. Hi, sir. Hi, Malesh. Hi, sir. That was a nice quick pickup. How are you doing? Hi, Malesh. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. That was a nice quick pickup. How are you doing? Uh, Hi, Malesh. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. So Malesh, I can mute YouTube. How are you doing? So mute YouTube uh, so you're not getting feedback. Okay. Malesh. Hello? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a tip for everybody. So when you pick up the 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 line, just uh, tap the mute button on YouTube so that you're not getting all that feedback in through your um, microphone. I'm doing good, Malesh. Uh, where are you, Malesh, right now in this big, beautiful I'm, world? I'm from India, sir. You are from India. What part of India? India is a big country. I'm from South part. Uh, I'm in. I'm from Hyderabad, which is the largest uh, city in the in our country. Okay, yeah, I bet the population is bigger than all of Canada, where I'm at right now. Um, okay, great. So we'll do a speaking part one question. I think you've been listening to the program so far, so you know what's going on. I'm going to give you feedback, a score estimate, and we'll go from there. Sounds good? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, here we go. So we're still talking about movies. Um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is K, uh, KGF, which is a um, pan India movie. Uh, it was released a couple of years ago. Um, uh, in this movie, a uh, lot of people uh, uh, inspired by the hero. Um, Who is your favorite actor or actress? So, okay, good. Um, when you get stuck like that, usually the examiner might wait a second or two, but as soon as you really get stuck and you're not speaking for like three seconds, uh, they will just jump to the next question and they'll, they're, they'll interrupt you, okay? Yeah, yes. now, that will, now that will definitely hurt one of your scores. Which score do you think that will hurt? the fluency score, right? So it, it hurts your fluency score. And when your fluency score gets hurt like that, then your um, coherence score will also get hurt. So you definitely don't want to do that often. You started okay. So you started at about a band six, five or so, but because you kind of got stuck, you didn't know where you were going with it. Um, you, you're going to drop in your scores and you'll drop as, as low. So you can drop as low as five if that happens more than once. All right. so. Um, you said your favorite movie is KGF. Uh, um, and then you kind of um, mumbled your words. So you said, which is, uh, um, can you say what it is? What kind of a movie it is? Um, it's an action movie. It's an action movie. Okay. So I couldn't catch that. And maybe it was the connection between us, but I think it was more that just that you, you mumbled, you kind of said, which is an action movie. And then it was like, Ooh, what? So you yeah. want to, it's like, um, it's like, imagine that the examiner has bad hearing. I, I actually kind of have bad, bad hearing, <laughs> but, uh, but imagine that the examiner has bad hearing and you really need to uh, pronounce what you're saying and announce it, right? Like my favorite movie is KGF, which is an action movie. So even if you're like 10% over the top, it's going to help your confidence and it will help your score because they don't have to be like, what? Right there. And remember uh, the examiner is sitting there all day. They listen to like 30 people, right? Okay. Okay. So imagine that you have to listen to 30 candidates, right? This is Okay, imagine that you're like candidate number 25, okay? The examiner's head is getting tired. It's getting difficult for them to focus as well, right? So they enjoy it. They like it when somebody's a little bit louder and a little bit more like, it's an action movie, right? Um, and then you said it was released a couple of years ago. I would give a number like back uh, in uh, 20, uh, 19 okay uh, and then you said in this movie a lot of people are inspired by the hero um, so 
it's about you. Keep it about you. Part one is always about you. So in this movie, or this movie, in this movie, um, I am inspired by the hero. Um, who saves the, the world uh, from uh, destruction. Okay, uh, it has a great uh, plot and excellent actors and actresses. Okay, that's all you, that's all you need to um, say, okay? All right, and then you're done. And then just confidently put an end, put a stop uh, to your sentence and you're fine. And then just wait for the next one, okay? Uh, a good way to do this is to visualize, all right? Um, and um, again, if possible, you don't have to tell the truth. So it's if, if it's easier to say that your favorite movie is Spider-Man, then just say my favorite movie is Spider-Man. It's a science fiction movie about a young boy who is a superhero has powers like a spider and saves the world. It's exciting and fun to watch. And then, yep, you stop, okay? So uh, easy, go with easy choices, all right? It doesn't actually have to be your favorite movie. Does yes. that make sense? Yes, it is, really. Okay, because sometimes people's favorite movies are like really complicated, right? Like my favorite movie is Shawshank Redemption where a guy gets uh, sent to jail falsely accused and it's pretty tricky to explain to somebody what that movie is so um yeah so careful careful what you choose okay so i'm going to ask you this question one more time and then give me a nice uh, repetition after i give you the answer okay okay so here we go what is your favorite movie my favorite movie is kgf which is an action movie it was released a couple of years ago back in 2019 in this movie i'm inspired by the hero who saves the world from destruction it's a great plot uh, with excellent actors and actresses what is your favorite movie my favorite movie is kgf which is an action movie it was released a couple of years ago back in 2019 in this movie, I'm inspired by the hero who saves the world from a destruction. It has a great plot and excel. Okay, uh, I think you said actors and actresses, <laughs> but I, that was cut off. But good, so that's what you want to do, okay? So just kind of keep it systematic, okay? And again, this is for everybody. It's an important tip. You don't have to tell the truth. Sometimes choosing a true answer can get you into a difficult situation. So practice that before your test, okay? Okay. All right, okay, so uh, good job. I, yeah, go so ahead. Can I say here, uh, it was directed by some director name? Again, you don't have to, right? Um, if the director is really you know, well-known, like let's say Steven Spielberg, and um, it makes the movie uh, very um, interesting, then yes, but again, too complicated. I, I wouldn't go into the director and so on. The question is, what's your favorite movie? So it's like, why is it your favorite movie? The director Ooh. might not be related to that. So it's a good question, okay, but okay. yeah, don't get yourself into, especially early on. So especially for the first few questions and speaking part one, just keep it simple full sentences but relatively simple okay okay all right malesh thank you so much have an thank awesome so rest of your day thank you so okay, much bye all right that was malesh give malesh a round of applause that was awesome all right let's take somebody else so i'm working my way up the bottom here All right, that was Malesh. Um, okay, let me try to see. Okay, I think this here is from Vietnam, so let's go this way. This is Nan Tien. Okay, so let's see Nan Tien. Sure, Nan Tien, are you ready? Um, and again, don't mumble, students. Like what I was doing just now where I'm like, uh, don't mumble, okay? So in the aisle, it's nice, loud, clear voice, all right? Again, remember what I said. Um, the, uh, the examiner has like 30, 40 
potentially different candidates that day, at least a dozen. And, you know, it gets tough for them to pay attention. Okay. All right. So let's reach out to Nantian. Hello, Nan. Hello. How are you doing? Doing great today. Awesome. Okay. Um, you sound a little bit distant from your microphone, so make sure you speak up nice and loud so myself and everybody else can hear you, okay? Yeah, I'm actually having, um, you know, butterflies in my stomach. That's okay. That's okay. We're here to help you with that. So uh, volunteering um, is... Uh, one of the first steps to uh, making sure that you get rid of those butterflies in your stomach. Butterflies in the stomach, for all of those who don't know, it's an expression which means to be nervous, okay? Because it kind of feels like there's butterflies inside your stomach. Okay, uh, Nan, uh, may I ask, where are you right now? Um, I'm in my bedroom, actually. Um, okay, and where is your bedroom yeah. in the world? Is it, is it, are you in Vietnam? Oh, yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, I, yeah, I'm in Vietnam. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, what city, may I ask? Um, I'm in the capital city of Vietnam. Um, okay. It's, uh, Hanoi, actually. Hanoi. Right on. All right. So we're continuing on with um, with the topic of movies. In most cases, in speaking part one, it will be focusing on one kind of general topic. So they'll say like, let's talk about you know your hobbies or your movies, and then they'll stay focused on that topic. Uh, when I took the exam, it was about maths, which is, you know, it's, sometimes it's a weird one. Uh, if you get movies, it's kind of a, a lucky one because people like to talk about movies. Okay, anyway, here we go. I'm going to ask you a question. Give me a nice full sentence answer, okay? Yes. All right, so let's talk about movies. Who is your favorite actor or actress? Um, among all the actors in the world, um, Chris Evans is uh, actually one of my perennial favorite. Um, right when I saw him um, on the silver screen in the Avenger in um, 2012, um, he, he, you know, created this uh, really big impression on me. I loved him not only because of uh, his um, good-looking appearance, but also his sense of humor. You know, he gets me laughing all the time during his um, interviews. Okay. I kind of got most of what you said. You're nice and fluent, that's for sure. Um, it shows because I had difficulty uh, keeping pace with uh, typing with your speech. Um, all right, uh, that was really good. Uh, you know what? You've got nothing to be nervous about because I think that your response is very strong. I, th I would say it's um, 8.5 uh, comfortably. Um, and if you keep going like this, I think it might even be a nine. Um, but I definitely think that you're, you know, in the, in the worst of days, uh, you'd get an eight, which is fantastic. You're not only communicating with very fluent, clear, precise English, but you're also giving very coherent, complete answers and you're communicating well. So you're not just using English, but you're communicating well, which is what you need to do for those very high band scores. So that was really good. Uh, have you practiced this answer before or was this just completely spontaneous? No, I, I apologize for joking a little bit. I'm turning 16 this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting to high school. I don't know. You know, I haven't got much knowledge about IELTS. I just okay. picked it up uh, like this year. Okay. So, so this answer that you gave me was just kind of off the top of your head? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, off the top of your head, students, that's an idiom, which means it was spontaneous. So it's not practiced, which is really good. I, I, get, I felt that. So I felt that it was an original answer. I'm just very impressed by it. That's why I was asking. Um, so you said, um, among all the actors in the world, Chris Evans is one of my favorite. The first time I saw him on the silver screen was in Avengers. Um, so again, silver screen, high level vocabulary, meaning the theater, right? The big screen, uh, because it actually has little silver speckles in it. Um, he had a really big impression on me, very nice natural expression, not only because of his good looks, but also his sense of humor. I caught that correlative conjunction that was really good as well. Uh, so you went into great detail. 
Uh, that was fantastic. I thought I thought that was that was um, brilliant. Uh, it's about as good as a, an answer gets. Um, are you using English every day in your life? Um, I am actually. My major is English. Yeah, I can tell. So um, I, I was able to pick up that English is a part of your regular life, absolutely, and that's that's great. It's great to hear that you're on you're on your way to success. So that's super. Okay, I'm going to uh, just read the question. Uh, say this one more time. You can say it one more time, um, and then uh, and then we'll move on. So who is your favorite actor or actress? Why? Um, among all the actors in the world, Chris Evans is one of my favorites. Uh, the first time I saw him was on the silver screen in Avengers. He had a really big impression on me, not only because of his good looks, but also his sense of humor. Okay, who is your favorite actor or actress? Among all the actors in the world, Chris Evans is one of my favorite. The first time I saw him on the silver screen was in Avengers. He had a really big impression on me, not only because of his good looks, but also his sense of humor. All right, very good. So yeah, keep that up. I think you'll do just fine. Um, and uh, 16, I think, is the youngest stage that you can take the IELTS. Uh, so if you're not in a rush, you can you know wait a little bit and really try to get band nine and as all the sections. Um, uh, so, um, but uh, I think you're ready just about any time you want to sit the test. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a great rest of your day, Nantian, and have a great day tomorrow in Vietnam because I'm guessing it's late. You're getting ready for bed. Yeah, you too. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye for now. Bye. Okay. So uh, give uh, Nantian uh, an applause, everybody. That was fantastic. Just really showing us how it's done. Yeah. Um, I mean, it shows when somebody's using English every day, and you heard that Nantian. Tian's majoring in English, so obviously it's a big part of his life. That was super, super. Okay, students, uh, I'm going to stop there for today, um, but uh, we will have more speaking sessions later in the week, so make sure to uh, subscribe to our channel, okay? Um, and uh, you will see our schedule in our YouTube posts. You can see here tomorrow we've got task two writing for members and then listening and then we've got speaking part two speaking part three later in the week as well and again uh, students uh, you can register on our website for our premium IELTS package use the discount code I score nine I score nine that discount code will get you a 25 percent uh, discount on the website again all you have to do is you just simply go to our website um, you'll see the home page it's like this and then you click this red button that's just above my head there and then you uh, use the coupon code you type in I score nine hit continue and you'll get that 25% discount on checkout okay that's how you do it. Uh, Carolina, thank you so much for moderating our chat. You're amazing. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you uh, members for your support. Uh, we will do lots more members. We're starting our task to essay tomorrow. Have a lovely rest of your day. If it's late in your country, then uh, sweet dreams. Much love to wherever you are on our big, beautiful blue planet. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from Victoria for now but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.